Hello everyone and welcome to the map Cosmic Sapphire. Joining me in the upper left with the red nexus it is going to be Neeb. And his Protoss opponent warping in the bottom right with the blue probes it is none other than Creator. Neeb versus Creator. Protoss on both sides of the matcha. Terran and Zerg players, you may rejoice at this time, for the Protoss have decided to try and slaughter each other for a brief moment at least. PvP. The matchups, you know, the mirror matchups, they're all essentially different forms of a knife fight, are they not? Terran versus Terran. It's like a nuclear knife fight where you can only throw your knife 30 yards. You have to be 30 yards away from your opponent at all times. So you can only throw it. But if it hits, it's a nuclear blast instead of just a knife wound. ZVZ, a little more close quarters, a little more of a uh, very closet room or phone booth maybe knife fight where you you don't really have that much room to move around, so you're going to do a lot of damage in a very quick amount of time. PvP, though, I know it's lauded like a poker game at times. Uh, I think I would probably better summarize it as a knife fight where you both have the ability to teleport anywhere in the arena, of course, but you're also blindfolded, so good luck. And that's my thought. Neeb, he's having different thoughts. He's got a pylon up here. And he's purposely hiding the probe. He's waiting a little bit before he sends it in. Curious choice. Creator, his probe's in Neeb's base, stealing minerals. How dare he. How rude. Both of them are going for the double stalker opener, not opening up adepts just yet. Stalker's a little bit safer. Creator slamming the door in Neeb's face. The hospitality these days. My gosh, people are so darn rude. And then you chase him. Not only did the homeless probe come to you and ask to stay the night you said no you slammed the door in his face and then you went out and beat him with two stalkers come on creator remind me never to ask you what time of day it is you i don't know what you'll do need get him pay him back revenge you killed my probe now i kill yours Neeb. He's still got this pylon up here. Why? Why is the pylon up here? He went for the Stargate in his main base. He's going for an Oracle Creator. Slightly different choice of openers. Going for Twilight. Probably the quicker blink, if I had to guess. A lot of PvP comes down to blink fight. Blink wars. Hence the teleporting knife fight part of the analogy, yes? Sentries sitting in the mineral line. Is it... Does he know? He does not know about the Stargate. The Oracle is about halfway across the map. We'll follow. Hightail the Oracle. Passes by a hallucinated Phoenix. Gets into the main base. Couple stalkers. Sentry going to respond. I don't see this Oracle getting much done. Creator's got enough in house. In base. He's going to shut it all down. This was used to slow warp adepts. I mean, you do get to warp in your adepts without your opponent knowing. Maybe they won't expect there to be adepts, but Creator's already got a probe here. And he's already proven himself more than willing to slam the door in Neeb's face. So, I don't expect much to get done. I would love to be surprised, though. Adepts in the base is always a disaster. He's gonna commit... With three stalkers and three sentries here, picks off a few probes, oracles, vaporizing something up there. Oh, they got the probe. Probe did slam down the battery before it died, so not not a whole lot. Resources lost in favor of Neeb. 
total of seven probes went down. That's actually pretty good. There's a five worker deficit right now with the Oracle still alive. I like it. I like it a lot. What are the follow-ups though? Creator's Blink is just about to finish, only 10 seconds out. Neeb's just starting essentially. It's gonna be a couple minutes before Neeb's Blink is online. Protoss. No longer the phrase is when behind Dark Shrine, it's just plain, hey, Dark Shrine. Did you see that? You did not see the pylon, okay. Stasis word of Neeb. How much vision does that get? That doesn't give enough vision. I was wondering if he might have seen the stalkers here. Well, he knows about them now. He's losing that probe. <laughs> Revelation tag onto the stalkers. Going to make them feel very vulnerable and afraid. They're going to have to walk away. Stalkers catch the hallucinated phoenix. Creator likely knows Neeb wants to take a third base. But denying the scout on that dark shrine, it's a good opportunity. I don't think he's going to be able to deny this one. Creator goes into the main. He's going to see it. Don't know if he clicked on it yet, but he at least saw it. And you can probably tell from the size of the warpin. It's either a pylon, a battery, or a dark shrine. Act appropriately, right? couple probes picked off looks like by these oracles they are going to be fended off though and the rest of the stalker army of neeb deflected couple dts slow warped in the latency on this pylon is just monstrous absolutely massive you didn't even think pylons could be that slow still but you know the, the, it's bad latency in some places you start getting out in the country the pylons just don't have the reception that you want nor did you expect to have. Blink Wars ensues. Couple DTs. They get in here. Uh, uh, there's an observer on the way. I don't know if there's one ready yet. There is one. Where is it? Oh, it's making its way over here. He is going to spot the DT. Kill it off. Overcharge used for defensive purposes. Only three probes are going to fall. Where'd the other DT go? He lost it? Neeb, come on. Come on, Neeb. I saw the one DT back up like it was going to go hide over there, but apparently he sent them both in, and the Observer-Stalker combo proved deadly. Fatal, even. Charge going to finish up for Creator here. Blink Wars still going on. The Stalker count definitely goes to Neeb ever so slightly. I say definitely. It's one stalker. Charge Zealots does complicate it a little bit for the stalkers, but not extensively when there's such a low amount of Zealots. Zealots are a great front line and a super awesome addition to most Protoss armies. Immortal. Will he actually prove immortal? I kind of doubt it. But the army supply now in favor of Creator, Neeb might want to be a bit careful here. He is up on the Stalkers, despite the very scary, very low health Stalker there at the front. He is up on the Stalkers, so... Definitely has that blink advantage, but Creator's trying to diversify the tech. He's getting Immortals. He's adding on his own Dark Shrine, so... Hmm. Dark Templar. Don't mind if I do. Protoss players, of course. Warp Prism going to be added on. Will it be used for reinforcements or for more sinister purposes? Only time will tell. Neeb opting for the Robo Bay, another skirmish where we're actually both just blinking away from each other. Not the action I was hoping for. I love the stasis warts. I absolutely love the just random stasis wards out on the map. You never know. You might scout something. You might catch your opponent. Maybe a few stalkers get trapped and you can try and, I don't know, surround them and then watch them blink away and feel bad about your decisions. Little careful, little careful. Revelation going to be used, keeping things safe. Wouldn't mind a revelation tag on the army. Disruptor tech on the way for our red Protoss. And things look like they are slowing down ever so slightly. 
In the macro stage of the game, the macro turn ensues. Warp Prism gonna be sent over to the uh, very top side of the map. Has he scouted the? He still hasn't scouted that pylon. Oh, he's about to. Dark Templar. Creator. Creator, that's not how you want your DT to be found out. Just kills a random pylon out on the map. Nave goes, oh, well, I guess you have Dark Templar now. Let me make a couple observers. For a shame. DT's hard countering zealots on the left side. Force fields used against blank stalkers. Not the most effective use. Disruptor shock goes out. Connects onto one stalker. One immortal blinking forward. Trying to pick off another one here. Probes transferring at one of the most dangerous moments I can possibly think of. There's disruptors and blank stalkers here. Oh, a beautiful surround. Flank from the zealots. Disruptor going to get caught out in the fray probably the best word I have for it. Both disruptors going to die off, blinking away as fast as he possibly can. Well, they both have disruptors. Surprise, surprise, we're getting into Blink Stalker Disruptor composition. Who will break first? Neeb proving more stalkers beats less stalkers. Always a good thing to have. Disruptors, also a very nice thing to have. Now, Creator, he does have two Robos, but it looks like only one of them's making Disruptors consistently. Observers coming out of the other one too. DTs, not able to actually counter DTs. At least, not without an Observer helping them. Oh, there we go. Observer makes its way over here. DT Blink, countered by DT Blink. They do they really they both have DT blink, of course. Of course they both have DT blink. Couple zealots staring angrily at the Nexus. Hey Jim, you see that Nexus over there? We should probably hit that, shouldn't we? Nah, not today. Disruptor beats disruptor. Not able to get the second one off in time, so Neeb's going to Prove superior in that engagement, losing the Oracle, losing control of the Watchtower, but Creator, holy Disruptor Batman. Oh man, that was bad. Losing the Nexus, but then Neeb walks into a Disruptor shot, gonna get flanked, and Blink Stalkers focus fire the Disruptors. The loss of this army could be disastrous for Neeb. You can't get away from this, you both have Blink. What are you gonna do? Recall up against a hundred supply of stalkers? Come on. Neeb. Supply is plummeting. He's down to only 16 stalkers, and some of them are badly bruised. I think you're gonna have to give up this base. Disruptor shot, not very successful. Zealot's going to tear down the uh, the red nexus there. I was gonna come up with a word. Not good enough though. On to the battles. Disruptors. From both sides, kind of just sauntering around here. Oh, good. Blink saves the Stalker's creator. Blinks as well. Neeb connects his Disruptor onto the Archon. This is a chaotic battle. Good lord. How am I supposed to keep up with this? Disruptor shots just being thrown out. You guys can see it. Stalker's blinking forward. Do they go for the Observers? Uh, Oh, the flanking disruptor from the bottom side. Neeb's disruptor dying off. Stalkers dying left and right. Who's even ahead in this? Just bludgeon each other with a hundred supply of army units. Good lord. Ooh, resources lost in favor of creator after all of that. How many disruptors have died off? Ten disruptors for Neeb, eight for creator. Hmm, what are we left with? Ooh, that's a big one. There's five for Neeb, zero for Creator. I'm gonna have to throw a little bit of an advantage to Neeb then for still having Disruptors. Creator just finished two more, but they're not active yet. Couple DTs scouting around. Might be able to get some harassment done. Do it. Do it, creator. We'll check on you in a minute. 
observers being made in full force because of the amount of Dark Templar that are known throughout the map. Blink Stalkers just transferring around. We, we both bludgeoned each other to great detriment and pain. Now we need to take a second and lick our wounds, build more disruptors before we clash once again. Disruptor very unfortunately caught out on the middle of the map here. Oh, that's something to note. Creators are going to have an upgrade advantage with plus three. Timmy, come on, why you got to walk into disruptor shots? Need would be a little bit more decisive with that. Blink onto the disruptor, snipe them off. Creator's probe did eventually muster the courage to make the nexus at the gold base. And that could be a good advantage as well. Hmm. Disruptor count is even. Stalker count goes to Neeb ever so slightly, but Creator has more DTs and charge lots, so tough to say. It's going to come down to these disruptor hits. Now, the observer uncloaked. That just looked all sorts of weird. The naked observer. It's like when you hit the DT with EMP and it loses its cloak. Like it's literal cloak. Very weird. Disruptor not going to connect. I like the Oracle for Revelation, very helpful. A lot of stalkers for me. DT gonna be cleaned up on the left side, allowing Neve to take another base. Disruptor shots being thrown out left and right here. Immortal stepping forward with confidence. With with confidence, not with much success. That disruptor hit proven a bit painful. Neve Rotates over to the left side, going to use Disruptors to not keep away the Stalkers, because Stalkers, they do still have Blink. Oh, a good Disruptor hit onto the enemy Disruptors. Cannot get them all, though. Cannons and batteries proving to be the hard counter to Protoss compositions here. Glorious battles. My gosh, this is, this is more action than I expected from a PvP. When does somebody just make carriers and things get back to normal? Blink Stalker and Disruptor yet again fighting in the bottom left of the map. Here, these probes, you gotta admire the dedication to their craft. Beautiful shot onto Creator Stalkers. Blinking forward, good splits. Creator fires a shot, only gets a couple. Ooh, oh man. Production tab. Come on, creator. Show me something. Don't don't just sit idle here. Warp Prism tries to pick up the disruptor. It's going to be lost. There's only two more for creator. Make that one. Blink stalkers. Oh, a solid blink on part of the stalkers. Probe's going to be evacuated. Creator giving up the gold base. And the resources lost have flipped yet again. Almost 60,000 resources lost total. Base destroyed. Creator on the ropes. He lost this base, never replaced it. Tried to go for the gold, not looking good. Might have had better luck going for the silver or the bronze, might I say. Neep pushing forward, pressing his advantage. Good disruptor hits onto the enemy disruptor. Battery overcharge going to be used. Do you just focus it down? Not really. I guess you have enough stalkers to one shot just about everything else. Disruptor shots go forward yet again, and Creator just does not have enough army supply to get rid of Neep here. Probes are dying left and right. The upgrade advantage not mattering if you don't have the units to then have upgraded, right? There you have it. Neeb going to take the game. Creator not able to shut down the aggression. A beautiful game though. Way better than I expected it to be. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, have a great day.